Welcome to the wonderful new world of BoldNet. Here we explore the new look and feel of BoldNet Neo. You may be asking why we reconfigured BoldNet. Our most recent version of BoldNet was written with Microsoft Silverlight, which was cutting edge at the time. However, in 2015 and 2016, browser services began to discontinue support for Silverlight, including Microsoft and its new browser for Windows 10. That meant we needed to change how we offer our customers the BoldNet service. Technology is forever changing. Things are cutting edge one moment and old news the next. So we here at Bold had to find what was the most up-to-date way to build a data-driven web-based system that would stand up against obsolescence. After a lot of research and testing, we found that using Google's material design specification was our best bet. Material design is a concept created by Google and is described as an environment that creates the ability to be agile that leverages classic principles of design with technology and speed. The look and feel is bold and graphical, where motion provides meaning. Using Google's material design specifications allows us to take advantage of the wisdom and power of Google and the staying power of evergreen browsers. An evergreen browser is one that keeps up to date with the latest updates. Most commonly, this would be Google Chrome, Mozilla, Microsoft's Edge, and the like. While originally optimized for Google Chrome, any up-to-date evergreen browser should load BoldNet. Now that you know why we move this direction, this tutorial is designed to introduce you to the changes to BoldNet and BoldNet Neo. Here, we will introduce you to the new user interface, search for and locate customer records, understand the newly improved customer record, run a report within a customer record, and place accounts on test. Your login address may change to a new address. Check with your BoldNet Neo provider for details. Upon logging in, you encounter some similar features. As before, you have the navigation on the left side of the frame and a list of recent customers and customers added to your watch list. If you had customers on your watch list prior to this update, they should carry forward into this new version. Additionally, the statistics for your accounts show and are clickable. Please note that in the upper right hand corner, there is now a checkbox to include or not include sub dealers in your statistics. Locating customer records in BullNet Neo is much quicker and simpler now. To launch the search feature, Click the spyglass icon to open the search dialog. Just like when searching in Google, the system begins searching as soon as you begin typing. The search looks for all elements of the customer record to find the customer you seek. In this example, the customer provided a password upon which to run the search. Typing Snoopy produced three results. For this tutorial, we load the Lucky Scooter Gang. Upon loading a customer record, it is possible to add a customer to your watch list by simply clicking the eye icon in the address section of the customer details form. Customers remain on your watch list until removed by you. From this initial page, you can navigate to many different locations. Notice that the upper left portion of the screen shows you quick access to several locations in BoldNet Neo. And the lower left hand portion of the screen shows access to all elements of the customer record to which you have access. Permissions, defined in Manitou, determine what items are viewable and or editable. The center section shows a snapshot of the customer record, including the most recent alarm and customer activity. A single click on any activity line reveals related details. The far right-hand side of the form shows access to place an account on test and a snapshot of the health and well-being of the customer record. The Customer Status section of BoldNet Neo shows if there are any alarms active for the account within the alarm queue at the time. If the account is active, if any elements of the account are on test, and the state of any systems and areas that have open closed services. With the correct permissions, the pencil shows in the upper right hand corner of the Customer Status section and allows the change of customer's status. The three statuses are active, alarms will present to operators and activity logs to the account. Inactive. No alarms present to operators, but activity logs to the account. And deactivated, where no alarms present to operators and no activity logs to the account. Think of deactivated as one step away from full removal of the account. The left-hand portion of the screen contains the navigator for the active form on BoldNet Neo. The default selection is the details. In order to view the available systems for the record, click the twisty arrow to expand the section. Upon opening the system's twisty, the different types of systems reveal. Event monitoring will be any traditional alarm monitoring where alarms are presented from a location to an operator. 
The access control systems are those integrating with a Manitou-supported access control system. GPS references any GPS system that integrate with Manitou and provide that information to operators upon alarm arrival. The other section allows for the tracking of systems not otherwise defined above. For this tutorial, we will discuss the event monitoring systems. Upon selecting a system, the details of the system load, including the panel type, including any MAC settings for that system, the users tied to the system and the transmitter, or transmitters related to the site. Clicking the transmitter on the navigator or within the transmitter summary loads the transmitter details. Here you find the elements of the transmitter, the transmitter options, and any notes related to the transmitter. To edit the transmitter, click the pencil that appears in the upper right hand corner of any form. Please note that new to Bullnet Neo, all options contain descriptions that may be revealed by clicking the ellipses to the right of the option. You will see this information added throughout the new system. The Areas and Zones form shows all areas and zones related to the account. Note that the forms will paginate when there are many. As noted before, the pencil icon allows for the editing of forms when permissions allow. A new feature in Bullnet Neo is the ability to add open close schedules from the Areas form. This is called inline editing. We discuss open close schedule creation within the Customer Creation Wizard tutorial. The programming form allows for the viewing and editing, when permissions allow, the signal translations, as well as which action patterns to use for what events and when. For those of you unfamiliar with post-processing, this allows the use of an action pattern to make notifications of an event after the closure of an alarm, or in the absence of an alarm. The devices form shows what sort of devices, such as cameras, are linked to this account. This is not editable in Bullnet Neo, the Users form is a view-only form showing the user numbers and to where the users have access within the site. The columns may be clicked to sort long lists. Note that all user numbers are configured on the individual users within the contact list form. When utilized, the reminders display any configured reminders for the customer record. This is not editable in Bullnet Neo. Reminders can be used for offering value-added services to customers. Some examples of reminders are welfare checks or annual inspections. Based on data entry, specific services are automatically connected to the customer record. These are viewable in the monitoring services form when permissions allow. The contact list form contains all persons and entities that have access to the customer record. Entities are businesses and authorities. Across the top of this form is a listing of all customer passwords. This shows when permissions allow any passwords globally attached to this customer record. Duress passwords are indicated by the checkbox. All contacts show in the lower portion of the form, and when selected, the contact details for the selected contact loads. Once again, the pencil indicates the ability to edit the form, when permissions allow. The call list form allows you to create lists of contacts to call in the event of specific needs. It is possible to have main and sub call lists. Main lists are used to group people and entities together on a single list. If some personnel rotate who is called first, you can do this within main or sub lists. The list, when it rotates, would then be restricted to persons only. Most often, a main list will contain a sub list that rotates the individuals within it. The activity log form is just a full view of the customer activity log you can view from the details form. You may have noticed there seems to be a search capability in many places within Bullnet Neo. Much like Google searching, the search will begin to filter the form below it based on the letters typed. For example, as I type the word late into the search, all items that do not contain the word late disappear from view. The comments form shows the temporary, standing, and special comments related to the customer record. Selecting them shows the details, including when the note will display. With permission, users can add these comments to the customer record. Please see your monitoring station for guidelines as to what to set and why. When applicable, it is possible to see any user-defined fields and their values for the customer record. These are not editable. When available, it is possible to see, review, and create maintenance issues for the customer record. 
The same reports available in the previous version of BullNet are available in BullNet Neo. Running a report is quite simple in BullNet Neo. Simply expand and select the report to run. The dialog then opens to step you through the process. Set your parameters, then click Next. The report options allow you to select or deselect any of the default options. If no items are selected, then the assumption is all items. Once all options are set to the desired information, click Next. It is possible to run a report to your screen, download as a PDF, or email it to a destination. The Advanced section allows you to seek contacts with email destinations or enter an override email for the report. The three report types for an override email are PDF, an image of the document, RTF, an editable document, or CSV, which formats the data output for opening in a spreadsheet. After all elements are complete, it is possible to display the report, download the report, or send it to the selected email. Recent reports run show in the History section. Selecting a report allows you to display the report results, download it again, publish it to its destination, requeue it, delete it, or return back to the list. A common activity from BullNet Neo is to place accounts on test. To do this, clicking the ellipses dots in the upper right hand corner reveals the quick on test. The sliders work as before in the old BullNet. You can simply select and slide to the number of hours and minutes. Add a reason and start to start the on test for the selected customer. Or click the advanced button to add a more detailed on test record. The advanced dialog opens with focus on the reason field. In order to save the on test entry, be sure to enter a reason here. The advanced on test allows the ability to set a specific date and time combination, as well as filter to a specific system, transmitter, area, zone, or event code or category. After clicking OK, there is a clear indicator of the on test on the record. Thanks for taking time to review this overview of BullNet Neo. Here we discussed how to log into BullNet Neo, search for customers, add customers to a watch list, review the elements of the customer record and where possible, how to edit items, run a report on a customer record, and place an account on test. The dealer record is similar to the customer record, only tailored to the dealer and based on the permission allowed. Now that you are a bit more familiar with BullNet Neo, Please take some time and poke around in the new interface and see what you can discover. Then come back and learn how to create new customers in the new Customer Wizard tutorial.